Good morning, everybody. And this is the first morning. We're heading to our new property. We've got all the closing stuff done. Everything's paid for. The property is ours. We are going there this morning as owners of the land to start mowing grass, cleaning it up so we can get some building done. It's a beautiful morning. It's 18 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, probably around 60, 62, something like that, maybe 65. But it's gonna be a busy day. We got a lot of things I wanna get done today. We thought we was gonna have the land mowed down, but something must have happened. The guy that was gonna mow it didn't get to it, so we're gonna to have to take the weed eaters and all that stuff and go at it and see what we can get done. But I'm just excited. I'm not gonna let these little things you know deter us from our goal our goal today is to just get the grass you know mowed down get it out of the way so we can get stuff set up we've got some help coming in a friend of ours from Woodstock uh, with New Brunswick named Rayma she's gonna bring her she has a really big John Deere ride on mower so I'm not sure that it'll be able to handle the big tall grass but perhaps we can get some done anyway and uh, so we're very thankful for her and we're very thankful for all of you watching our videos supporting us Jody and I are so grateful to each and every one that has been with us on this journey it's a new start for us and we're going to show you as much as we can we'll be busy working and so there'll be just some times when the camera's just capturing what we're doing and maybe we won't be saying a lot or whatever but it's all part of the story we're glad you're with us Love and appreciate each and every one of the Creekside crew. And uh, so here we go. Let's get this party started. cost today. Chilling up. Recording the pump? No, I'm. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what we did. No problem, buddy. That was expensive. One hundred and forty-eight dollars to fill the truck up. A hundred and forty-eight. It was funny. The guy that uh, was in there, he come out. He wanted to know why I was filming the. Uh, the gas uh, pump so I told him I said now it's for our YouTube channel <laughs> it's a beautiful drive up along the river here
that's it folks our first chance to drive onto the property as owners it hasn't really set in yet but it's an amazing thing to finally be here we've got lots of work we're going to get done here today and we've got company say hello to Rayma <laughs> This is our friend from Woodstock, and she is here helping us today. She's brought her mower. Wave, Rayma! <laughs> and her puppy. And you can see, we got lots of work we got to get done. The goal today is to simply get some grass mowed down, find out where the house is going to sit, find a place for the dog kennel. Lots of things going on, but it's so exciting just to be on our land, our property, for the first time as owners. And thank you, thank you to everybody out there that has made this possible. Uh, Joni and I say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love each and every one. And it is so, just, I don't even have the words to describe how we feel right now, it's just amazing. We're making some good progress. I'll show you what we got going on here. We got lots of mowing done. This looks so good. So good. I so appreciate Lee coming up from, it is almost a PEI. We drove three hours this morning to come help us. Hey Zach! How are you? Good. Working here at the new piece of property. Yeah. Well we appreciate you coming over and helping. Yes, yeah, not a problem at all. For those of you who don't know, this is Zach, our son-in-law on the other side of the computer. <laughs> yeah, that there. There's a hornet's nest over there. Oh, and you ran over it. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is where it works. Yeah. This is already clicked in. Oh, okay. You just hold it down in there. You see that little black piece there? Yep. Push it in. Just push down on the ball. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Why would you like to come out here on your Saturday and, and help your old father-in-law out? What, what, why, why is that? Well, there's a lot of grass to be mowed and more hands the better. There you go. <laughs> we appreciate it. How you doing, Rama? Well, at least I'm dry. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah, lots of fun. All right. Yeah. Mowing down grass. <laughs> We're mowing down grass. We've probably got half done. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think so. If we take close. a look at it there. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Yeah. So we're close to We're going to get there. We're going to... So what are we... I'm out of gas for that, but... Yeah, we, I should have got you some. That's just down the road. I, yeah. I should have sent the jug with you. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... The next project is getting the grass mowed down for the dog, where the dog kennel is going. So well, I guess we'll go up there. That's what we should do right yeah. now then, right? Yeah. So yeah. we'll head up the hill there. In case it gets raining harder. Yeah. So we're going over on the left side. Yep. Left side. All right. All right. Zach, what do you think? Oh, you didn't get it up for round two. Round two. 
We had a burger and some fries and a couple drinks, so we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. Refreshed and hydrated. All right. So we're getting it cleaned up pretty good. We're about halfway done. There's Lee coming across there. He's a great guy to talk to. Got a lot of good stories. Really nice fella. Go three hours to be here. We appreciate that so much. We're finding quite a bit of old posts. Pieces of wood and stuff laying in the field, so we have to be careful. So we're going ahead with the weed eater and then uh, they come behind us with the mowers a lot of work but here's some of the stuff we're finding in the field See, it's quite a mess. Still a ways to go. Well, folks, we managed to get all the way to the top with one weed eater and two right on lawnmowers. <laughs> for sliding in the winter. We're making progress. It just takes a long time with lawn mowers that are small lawn mowers. They're not made for this.
but we've got this much done down here so it's coming slowly to get you a good idea how tall this grass is I'm standing on where it was mowed this grass is taller than I am oh, it's over my head <laughs> that shows you how tall this grass is And they drive on their levees down there. Yeah. Are the farmers now? Yep. So I, way I went, out this big levee, and my sister-in-law said, don't you dare take that truck off road. <laughs> Carol said, I thought you said we weren't going off road. And I said, I didn't say that. I was told not to, but I didn't say that. <laughs> so every, every 15, 20 miles, it would say ferry, yeah. 25 miles or 100 miles or, or whatever. And you go down a, a levee this way and then there'd be another cross levee. You'd take that and keep going. So anyway, we got within about five miles. It's a very five miles. Carolyn said, are you sure you're going the right way? I said, look, see all those trees? And they were great big cottonwood trees growing along the Mississippi River. Yeah. And they were big. And you just drive along and the road goes like, just like this. If this was the road, and it just tipped down gradually, 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 right out of sight into the water. <laughs> because sick. the river raises and drops so much. Yeah. And, oh, I'd say 100 feet from the edge of the river, there was a pole with a telephone on it and a stop sign. So we just stopped right and said, if you want to come across, call on the pole or call on the phone. So we called and, the, and they said from the other side, yeah, we'll be about 30 minutes coming over, which it were. But, Everything was shot all to pieces. Oh. The boys have been tired of practice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, sir. The yes, big sir. telephone pole, the stop sign. Everything. It was all, the only thing that wasn't shot was the phone. <laughs> <laughs> they needed the phone to get across. <laughs> they laugh. Well, my wife found a uh, ticket stub when she first came across the ferry from St. John, the Brunswick, oh, yeah. to Nova Scotia. Yeah when we first met back in 88. And the price then for that ticket was $13. And so now it's like, to walk on, it's like 50 some dollars to walk oh, really? on. Yeah. 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 So there you go, 34, 34 years later, and look at the, the cost of stuff, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're sitting here, we're, we're sharing some good stories with Lee. Better known as uh, Fisherman 506. And the question I got to ask for you, Lee, is, is our area code. There you go. Oh. All right. So that is why right. Fisherman 506 okay. is Fisherman 506 because of his area code. And so I've often wondered that. And I said, I'm going to ask him when yeah. I see him what that means. Well, that's so. why when we was, my wife put it in, put in Fisherman, and then she put uh, old Fisherman, and all those names was used. Yeah. But you put Fisherman and 506. That's the area code. Well, there you go. There you go. So that's interesting. Well, Lee drove three hours today to get here to help us mow. And I hope <laughs> I hope we didn't kill your mower. <laughs> no, she's still going. She's it still has, under warranty. So. She's still <laughs> under warranty. If you're going to do the tough <laughs> mow and do it now. <laughs> yeah. As long as the guy that sold it to me don't see it, hey, we got her beat. <laughs> yeah, I've just been mowing my lawn. <laughs> but uh, we certainly appreciate Lee being here he spent the whole day here with us and uh, he's got a long drive tonight so he's gonna get going here pretty soon but we're really we're really grateful Lee that you came over oh, and yeah. um, it has been it's been fun to meet people um, but it's just been humbling to know that people will come and help us you know we really appreciate that and Raymond's Raymond's off camera she's sitting over here on her John Deere mower and uh, Zach uh, he's sitting on the other side of Lee here so but uh, we've been at it all day, and it's been hot today, but not too bad. We've had a breeze blowing, uh, a little shower come through. It's been nice. But um, Lee is uh, from just this side of the PEI Bridge, Confederation Bridge, and been a fisherman for, I had to figure it out earlier, <laughs> what, 50 plus years? No, 48. 48 years 48. he's been a fisherman. And uh, so would you consider yourself semi-retired now from fishing? or? Yep. Okay, so kids, I say send me. I'm and careful yeah, yeah. because he he is gonna he's gonna still help his son do some fishing. So, yeah. but uh, it's looking better. The land looks good. 
What do you think of the property, Lee? It's nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's up nice slope. You won't have to worry about water. No. I, heard you tell, I, thought. I wonder if snow will roll downhill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> never say never, eh? You never say never. Yeah, but it's uh it's been a good uh, it's been a good day. We've got got a lot done and uh, Lee's Lee's mower is only a couple months old, so we uh, we really broke it in today. I'm pretty sure. So, but uh, it's been mowing goldenrod and grass that's been as tall as I am. But yeah. found a few uh, cedar poles in the mix, but uh, she handled it. It was all right. But we just Lee, we just want you to know and shake your hand and yeah. I want to thank you uh, for being here for, for stopping in. And uh, I wish I I wish I had a million dollars to pay everybody, but. All we can do is just keep making making uh, good videos and, and yep. open our hearts up to everybody and say, if you're ever out here in this neck of the woods, stop in. <laughs> but uh, always an invitation to come. So, What do you think, Zach? I don't know. Your chair's over there a long ways. I don't know. You know. <laughs> no, it's it. Rose's wife will pick the, the bugs off him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no ticks as no of yet. No ticks as of yet? No, nope, nothing get, so far. She'll get you home and get you showered up and yeah. she'll find you. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea, uh, we're talking to Chelsea. We're, the reason we're laughing is we're talking to Chelsea today on the phone. And Chelsea's sitting there and she's saying, Dad, make sure you pick the ticks off of Zach's legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Chelsea, he's a grown man. He can pick ticks off his own legs. <laughs> Newlyweds. <laughs> oh, Chelsea. And we thank everybody for supporting our channel and being here with us on this journey. Lee, thank you so much again yeah, for coming over. Time. I know it's a it's a long drive. It's three hours and and you know bringing your mower and all of that. But we certainly appreciate it. We want you to know that. I'd uh, put something on the barbecue if I had one. <laughs> but anyway, we'll do that next time. You'll have to come back. Yeah, Come over again, man. Yeah. yeah, anytime you want to, man. We'll be back. It's not like we got to, nothing to do. I'll tell you that yeah. we're we got lots to do. So this is why I wanted to get over because well, we're going to close off the video with that and uh, do a little more mowing. I'm going to show you what we got done. And oh, hey Raymond, get out of here. <laughs> 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 and what's the puppy's name again? Lindor. Lindor. You call her Linny? Yep. How you doing, Linny? You be on TV, Linny. <laughs> this pup has been up and down this hill. Uh, she or he? She. She follows Rama everywhere. And so every time Rama goes down the hill, Lenny goes down the hill, and every time she comes up the hill, Lenny goes up the hill. So the dogs wore off 10 pounds with me today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Zachary, tick check. <laughs> <laughs> and Rayma brought this wonderful, um, I guess it's a fire pit. So thank you, Rayma, for that. We appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. We're going to light a little fire probably here in a little bit. But right now, I'm going to go down and walk down through some more of that goldenrod and check for for more uh, blocks of cedar, we found a few. I'll show you what we've been finding. Zick, Zick, right? Zach dug these out. The cedar is hiding in the grass. And so we don't want the mowers going over that stuff. That's for sure. But we have got a lot lot mowed down already it looks really really good and so it's coming we got this last little piece over there for the largest part of it to do we got all this done up here it's looking good so thanks everybody stay tuned we'll keep you updated but this is our first day on the land working it's been a busy day, it's been a hot day, but it's been a good day. So to everyone out there, thank you all of our subscribers, everybody that's just helped us out so much. We really appreciate it. 
from our heart to yours thank you for being part of the creekside crew and we'll see you right back here take care god bless